It's that time, chat, and welcome to some Dark Souls. How's it, everybody? Go have a good Monday. Go have having a swell like, evening. It's time for some new play through Dark Souls. Today we're gonna play with some magic. I've never done. I've always, I made this character probably a year and a half ago, but I never used her. So I've, even in Dark Souls one and two, I've never played a magic build. And I'm gonna do this blind. I'm not gonna like look up what's the best magic items to use. I'm not gonna look up what's the the best you know setup for magic. I'm gonna just play the game and basically just gonna, gonna learn to fly. I'm gonna use my own soul's knowledge to figure out you know builds and whatnot. Like, I'm not gonna um be like oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and a good you know your fuse or a good piece of armor to use. Um, the thing that is a benefit. Magic is very strong in Dark Souls, especially for Dark Souls 3. I have the fact that magic is going to freaking like legit be great. Like I massacred Gun Deer um, with this, with this character. However, just because that happens, because magic is strong, doesn't mean I'm going to like cakewalk through the game. Because again, since I've never done a magic playthrough, and since because I've never um, you know built for magic, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna see what else. I'm gonna have a hard time against you know more aggressive enemies who aren't going to standing still. Then you gotta you gotta deal with the whole ma uh, not mastering, but working with my inventory, not inventory, my um my spell stamina, not what it's called. Um, so we also gotta manage our our Ashen Estus Flask, not just our regular Estus Flask. So there's a lot more going on than just what I'm usually dealing with in in, in the game. Um, I want to try to get up there. I can figure that out. And there might be some stream lag because my sister doesn't care that I live stream and she's like, she's her real kudos music. Um, I'm trying to trigger the dragon to freaking blow his fire to kill these enemies, but he's not doing it. Like, that's no bueno. Alright, we're just gonna change bonfires. I don't want to fight a gang of enemies. Not gank, but gang of enemies, I should say. Big thing there is, it's, again, since I'm using magic only, you know, getting surrounded would be good. Especially early on, because I, I do know enough about magic in, in this game to where, um, you know, later in game I'll have, like, best better. depressor. Oh, my friends before I don't like using my S's flash in certain situations so I'd rather use amber I like how I'm doing the, the backstab animation, but not actually doing the backstab. Kill him before he transforms. Bullshit game. Definitely hit him before he transformed. And then when they're transformed, it's a lot more difficult to deal with than I want it to be. Such a pain in the ass and dangerous, especially for what a dealing with a mage. I don't have I can't tank those attacks.
Yeah, so what I've noticed thus far, it would probably be better to, if I use my melee attacks more often. Mostly because it, it seems like that would make more s when it comes to managing my uh, FP. charm that we didn't have to use. I wanted to use, but didn't have to use it. Yeah, he's gonna be a problem. Big dude's always an irritation to Legit, my goal is to just like knock the blocks down. Wonder if I have enough. Yeah, we don't have enough strength or faith. I was thinking like that, that straight sword might have been a good magic weapon, but it's not even a magic weapon at all. I'm gonna come down here yet? It was mostly because I didn't want to like have to deal with the enemies yet. I'm going to do just gonna like run, like drop down and run. Someone killed himself, which is good. He's still got that attack off. A lot of these weapons will end up selling for souls because I don't. Since this is a playthrough, I'm not gonna use most of these weapons. There's no point in me freaking having them. Oof. Ooh, 
big boy. I saw he freaking hit me. I think I honestly thought he landed that hit on me. Which is no no. Me and Honest should probably freaking um Let's see. This is, this is a, a blind attempt at being a sorcery. Being a sorcery built character. I'm trying to like just work things out in my head. Um, what I feel like would be smart to do. Stop over attacking. We got another Ashen Shard. We're gonna put that. We're gonna allot that into um, our Ashen, so we can have an extra Ashen. By late game, I want to be able to have. Um, let's just say that there's 20 Estes. Yes, I want to have 10, 10. If not, then I want to at least if I say we get to 15. I want to have like a, a 10 to 5 ratio, maybe more. Alright, get the cell key, so now we can go get Grey Rat. I'm trying to think. We can, we can do this. I'm trying to like just, I'm judging, um... How much health I have, basically. Because I have two acid shards left and I have half health. I have maybe like two shots left in my uh, arrow. My arrow, my freaking um, thing. Too, but yeah, we need undead bone charms like a motherfucker. Let him walk by because I don't want to deal with him right now. Ain't got the anything for that. Really all early game souls is is you know, doing the math on when you should or shouldn't fight an enemy. If you do this right, you'll be fine. If you do it wrong, we're fucked. It's just something to sell, to be honest. I don't really use those rings. Because most times if I lose my souls, I didn't lose a, a, a lot of souls to where it isn't really necessary. That's kind of how I, I gauge whether or not I will use a ring of sacrifice or not. If I feel like I didn't even use the souls to warrant it. Didn't lose the souls to warrant it. But I didn't lose a lot of souls, and I'm not gonna waste my time with it. That's a gank situation, so I'm not gonna just not no, not about I'm gonna bother with that. Mm 
me a second. Just doing some things on Duel Links. I don't even know how to freaking play Thunder Dragons. I know this is like bad streaming etiquette, but it's like a new event going on Duel Links, so I'm trying to like just... Do a bit in that. We're not gonna fuck with the, um, the Dark Knight. I'm just gonna point that out. That would be fucking stupid. Pick your battles. Fire link to level up. Welcome, speak that. Very well. Then Should've just sold the ring before I freaking leveled up, but whatever. Get our atonement up so we can have more FP. Atonement also increases our defense too, so that's also like a really good reason to deal with that. It's like I kinda wanna focus on faith, um, intelligence, and atonement, but most more so just intelligence. can use the rapier which is good yeah, usually I will keep those things but since I'm not freaking touching them at all there's no point in me freaking keeping them just gonna sell them Ashen one oh. We'll use the rapier over the freaking mail biter. No mail breaker, turtle. First off, we shouldn't be using it as our primary. Ah. Probably use a candlestick. The candlestick might be like a very, very good end game item to have. So we we'll get to that. We're probably gonna like uh, actually start. What you call him? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm talking to Andre about it. Almost walked the thing. I want to go yell at my siblings real quick though, so after I deal with Andre. I'm gonna deal with that. Lionheart, Leonard, whatever his name is. He's it's important to have him up if you're gonna be doing um PvP. If you're not no point.
Oh, that's missed opportunity. S is the freaking. Not S is trying to freaking use his him him drinking was gonna be my opportunity to freaking attack. We missed out on it. We missed the backstab. No, not that attack. That attack is really hard to freaking get out of. Oh, I'm stuck on the goddamn bonfire. Oh my god. What a bitch way to die the game. Stuck on a goddamn bonfire. Holy shit, man. Yeah, so I'm not ready yet. Just wanted to see if I was high enough level to deal with him. But probably would have been able to if I didn't get stuck on a fucking bonfire. Dark Souls in his shitty ass frames. Like, I got stuck on the damn bonfire. That's such a freaking ball buster. Like, more than anything, that's a fucking ball buster. I'm trying to figure out. I think it's this one. Which bonfire it is to get to freaking uh, Great Rat? Alright, so after we deal with Grey Rat, and after we be Fort, I have to upload a video to YouTube, so... Still be talking and whatnot, but I'm gonna go AFK for the actual game for a bit. Not for a bit, but just to, you know, start the upload process and whatnot. Um... Do this in duelings real quick. Only like an auto duel during this event, but I can't, which is dumb. I kind of have to like actually stop playing to do it. Most times you you can auto duel in dueling, so I don't have to freaking uh, do that. But for fucking reason, we really want to get to Obek as fast as we can, so we can get some good sorceries. Yo, you a hoe? You bought that life, bring that ass here. Dumbass. Bring that ass here, boy. You missed you, slut. Oh, you a hoe! Why do you have to come down here? Stupid bitch. No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remo if that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the Grey Rat's voice reminds town, me of, um, the home of any lord, just Paragon DS. Settlement of undead. I don't, I'm sure you have, most of you probably don't even know who that is because you would have to be into Dark Souls and on a content creating basis to know who that is. I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, 
but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then, huh? Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part. His storyline is, is pretty sad. I would recommend anyone who's like interested in lore for this game to to look into Grey Rats. Lore. More so about Vita's um prepare to cry. Yeah. This entire quest line is just pretty sad. I mean, in general, when it comes to Dark Souls and lore, Dark Souls lore is is depressing. And for the most part, when it comes to Dark Souls, it's, it's not happy endings and good stories. So we'll go to the bonfire before we go to Vort. Might um TP back to what you call it. So we can use a shortcut to get over there instead of doing going all the way around like we did before. When will the awards are for this event? DD Seeker. Disposable later. Seems to be the one. Alright, let me charge my phone. I couldn't see that for a second, so I didn't even know if he was even there. Ow! What a hoe. Didn't even do that. Let's see what G2 won. I'm guessing G2 when I'm guessing their new player did good too because I saw Pinky say something about it. They beat Empire. Good, 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 good. Run, 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 run.
kind of want to challenge myself with these knights, but at the same time, it's like, oof! Ooh, I thought you got both at the same time. That would be scary. You are fun. You are a fun, fun person. Oh, that she landed. That'd be fucking annoying to deal with. We're not gonna fuck with that night over there, because that'll be just too much to deal with right now. Also, I don't think there's any loot over there that I should care about to begin with. Uh, I allow them to the head. This is That was not expected. That sucks. Definitely didn't want to freaking use an Estus. Definitely didn't want to freaking waste an Estus. <laughs> not before a fucking boss fight. Alright, let's summon the NPC. You can keep Vort distracted while the magic at him. Hopefully this goes well. I have like no expectations when it comes to this playthrough. At least not early game, late game, mid game, I should say, even mid game. I expect to, to just be like full on wrecking shit. But until then, my expectations are very low for early game. They will still be able to like fuck with the curse fight in Greatwood. I feel like the hardest thing about that ball is probably like actually aiming at what I need to aim at.
much. Oh boy, that was didn't see that coming. Just gonna be honest, I did not see that fucking coming. I honestly forgot how to freaking switch my shit like at the last second. We did a good solo that honestly. I forgot how to like. He told me like I switch my rapier. I was trying to freaking do that, get my um my shit out. My I can't talk right. My um ashen. Ash and S's. Yeah, he's he took a shit ton of freaking damage, so that's definitely freaking solo over when the mage. But again, I I know going in that freaking magic does a lot of damage in this game. We just brung a uh, lion just in case. Where's my charger? Let me move some things around. I need to upload this YouTube video. And also get some food. I'm gonna keep the stream going though, so don't worry about that. Don't worry. The stream's not about to end just so I can freak to you, but we're gonna take a break from Dark Souls. Well, Dark Souls is gonna be on your screen, and I'm still gonna be talking. So I just need to get this uploading. Would have had this been done, but I was too busy freaking daydreaming and fucking off when it comes to life this morning. I had to sneeze. So far, so good, though. I think when it comes to my expectation, um, 